Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. A Nigerian model calls out Beyonce for taking advantage of Africa. She says Beyonce is contributing to the problematic ideologies of how Africa is viewed um, to line her own <coughs> pockets. Um, she said, and I quote, you can't come and pull from our culture um, from when it's convenient. That's appropriation. And not every time we wear kings. Please, some of us wear palm wine tapas. We don't wake up in the morning and tie our wrapper and put chalk on our face and scream Wakanda, then go and hunt lions. We wake up and open Twitter like the rest of the world. Please stop pushing this old narrative um, because later is the shame is the same black Americans in an attempt to insult us that will be asking if we have Wi-Fi and whether we live in huts and how we can afford iPhones. And that's the representation they see um, anytime someone talks about Africa, end of quote. That's just to take a part of her um, submission. She what said what she like? said, period. Do you agree with what she uh, said, period? No, not period. I don't agree 100%. Okay. But I see her point and it is very valid. She makes a lot of things together. I think that the black Americans and Africans have had a bad relationship. Mm -hmm. And that has nothing to do with Beyonce. I think even if Beyonce represented us fantastic and great, um, she's still an African-American. It isn't her job to represent us well because she's not an African-American. I mean, mm. she's not an African, rather. I think it's the African's job to be able to to be able to do that. But where she caught my attention and where I really agree to is that um, um, Beyonce is culturally appropriating African cultures mm. because she does not put her money where her mouth is. All her symbols are derived from Africa. And I remember when I was in SA, this baby used to give us, tell us dreams about how she's going to come and perform and how she's going to come and perform and how she's going to come and perform. And I was there for about maybe six years and I only saw her once. So she doesn't like to come to Africa. She doesn't like to um, uh, bring her tour here. And even when she she does until global citizen which was like obviously a bigger platform that she really brought the same type of standard of um, presentation that Beyonce usually does when she does come to Africa it's very by the way rubbish um, and uh, people have had that conversations with her before about that so in regards to corporate um, cultural appropriation in the black community because usually cultural appropriation is from another race but when it comes to America uh, black Americans and Africans I see her point but that she is causing the reason why black americans don't respect us i think our nollywood in industry has probably done worse mm. in, uh, in regards to that in comparison to that Thank because you. if you look at beyonce symbols i think they're very glorifying and i don't think that she's saying that we're not um, palm wine tappers palm wine tappers can wear their african wakanda best and go forward on our sunday best because sunday best is a huge culture when it comes to africans as well so uh, it's a bit of a stretch in regards to that, but everything else I see. All right, so she made sense to some extent, and to some extent it was a lot of BS because um, if you're saying cultural appropriation, you need to realize that those people with chalks and tying the rappers is actually part of our culture and there's still places in africa that they actually dress and look like the that the cultural appropriation from beyonce stealing those cultures not yeah that. no no the part where she was saying that um when people see her they think that's how we look some I of us she, jump she, on she twitter was more, but, she tweeted more to misrepresentation rather than cultural, cultural appropriation, appropriation yeah and um, there are actually there are people that actually wake up in the morning and t and tie their wrappers. Okay, with if you regards to what LC said, then that's a hundred percent spot on. If you say that it isn't about her not representing, um, no, not stealing our cultural mm. um, information, but rather it's misrepresenting. Bit, bit, I mean, she touched everything. She's not, to me, she's not she even misrepresenting. She was everywhere, actually. It. But I think, like what you just said, there are still places in Africa that have got those things going on. Even in, even Nigeria, in Ghana. Right? There are people that still but, tie just their wrappers and they go for functions. They go for weddings like, with just like their wrappers and out, chalks on their faces thing, in 2020. Which is one thing we all have pointed out over and over again. I've probably gotten tired of talking about it and move on, which is that Africa is not a country. Africa is a continent. Mm. And there are too many cultures in Africa for you to just put us in one box mm. and always go, oh, Africa, we're representing them, we're doing this for them. Do you even understand Africa? Do you even understand where the um, quotes that you mentioned in the previous episode, the gods you're mentioning, do you understand where they're actually from? Or do you just research them and then someone tells you this will sound good when you put it this way and win your no, hearts and then you do it? I think she it. does her research and I think she really genuinely appreciates the African elements that she puts into her song. The only thing I can fault her for is that she doesn't give as much 
effort and money and attention into performing and putting her money here. But if you look at it from a business perspective, it probably isn't based on like tribalism or, or beef. It's just that we won't probably make as much money because how much tickets are you going to price it and blah, blah, blah. I would, however, say though, when you, um, when, right now when you just brought up um, Africa. Uh, Africa, is that uh, I, I agree to an, an extent, but I would even backlash this girl and say that she's trying to preach colonialism and taking us away from our African roots. What is so wrong about representing Africa in the like way African. that we are? Why are you trying to like westernize us to say that we're all on Twitter wearing jeans and tops? Like, yeah, but is that which is why be... this conversation is two-sided. Because if we want to go that way, then it means that what Beyonce is doing is cultural appropriation because she's making money of doing this whole representation. So the question now is, what exactly think, is her aim mm -hmm. in doing all she's doing now? The idea of kings and queen, mm -hmm. your this, your that. What exactly is her aim? Is it just to make money because um, Africa, or talking about Afro pop or whatever it is now, is the new cool and everybody's latching onto no, it? I think, I think, or I does think, she you know really what? care I think, I think, about Africans and the African oh, culture? I think, I think we should stop blaming. Beyonce spoke person for a second. I think they absolutely mm -hmm. care. You have to remember that African Americans love to find identity. That is like their biggest issue right now identity but so, do you, have you noticed that this finding identity kind of works around um the celebrities that are looking for content and creativity and because if you go down low mm. and see the conversations on social media you realize that a lot of black americans don't care about africans can we just mm. stop blaming people for our own failure i think it will. It I think well, well, no i'm not i'm not talking to you guys i'm talking to the lady oh. Now, can we just stop blaming people for our own failure and why we're being misrepresented? Because if our African brothers and sisters that have the global stage are actually doing their job by representing us the way we should be represented, and they don't go out there looking like African Americans or even white people, then maybe we won't be misrepresented. Now, that's some BSFA. Uh, how many people do that? People do that come for on. us I'm well. Look Beyonce, at Mama Africa. Beyonce, uh, well, just a few. Come on, you're, you're see, mentioning, fam, you're mentioning you, just you one person. You don't put the blame on the no, Victim here. No. It is not the, it's not the job of every single African to be doing away a Wakanda for a black American to be able to understand I'm not how to away represent Wakanda. us. I'm not, now, now you're the one making a joke out of it like that's what we represent. That's not what we represent. Now, if we actually go out there a lot of times and then when we're here in the international stage and we want to perform, we're actually wearing an African oh, attire. Please. We don't have to stop. always do that. We don't have to always do that. Then don't complain when somebody's doing it for us. It's that simple. She's like you're, not doing you're, it for us. She's... Uh, Cultural appropriation, that's the term. Maybe you should study more on that. Please, I love what Beyonce is doing what is she and she doing? can just continue doing What's it. What is she doing? What is she doing? Africa because that she's is She's representing who, Africa. Yes, that's Amazing. what she's doing. Yes. All right, that's how we wrap up this oh, episode of Tea Time. Oh, and okay. Ifel Mai is shocked by Ifel Luo Shokaya. But thank you for watching and join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our sensitive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shokaye mm. and the entire production team. See you later.